Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. In our last mission, we started our flight to Dress. And today, we are going to finish this mission and return home. As you can see, our brave Kerbonauts are almost in the orbit around the Dress. And now we only have to do one thing. Is to put them in actual orbit and then put them on the surface on the Dress itself. We're going to do this with our fairly standard retrograde maneuver, so nothing much to comment about it. Just the fact that because our engines are not exactly powerful, we have to burn for quite some time. And we actually missed the point of burn a little bit. But that doesn't really matter because we are in orbit, and we're circularizing it at the periapsis. Everything is cool. Our next order of business is to land our Kerbonauts on the surface of the planet Dress. Not like we can land them on the other planet at this point. But before we do that, we are going to perform our scientific experiments and send the results back to planet Kerbin. We are also going to send one of our brave Kerbonauts on EVA and collect his uh, report. And now we are going to perform the fairly basic landing procedure, which wouldn't be a Unlike the moon landing, because both of these bodies share similar properties, such as low gravity and lack of atmosphere. First we are going to transfer some fuel into our central engine, because for reasons unknown our fuel lines don't actually connect to the center fuel tank, so we have to do this manually. And we have to balance out the fuel in the side fuel tanks a little bit, but that's not a big deal. We have chosen our landing place and we're starting our deorbiting burn, which ends pretty quickly because our orbital speed is pretty low. And now we're just going to remove our lateral velocity, or in other words, horizontal speed and start our free fall to the surface. As you can see, nothing much is happening. We're just falling down and slowly removing our vertical velocity. Making sure that we are not going up and only falling down. And we're almost there. Time for little tiny burns, which will remove the rest of our vertical velocity. And touchdown. Almost a perfect landing. Now Bob Kerman is going to go on EVA, plant our glorious flag, face plant to the surface, we can't go without it, and gather some scientific data which we will later send to the planet Kerbin for our scientists to analyze and produce new technology based on it. We are not sure how temperature readings can lead to the development of new space probe, but it obviously can. Our mission is almost complete. All we have to do now is return home. Easy, isn't it? What we are going to do is we are going to first achieve the orbit around the RASP and then perform our orbital maneuver which will return us to the lower planet around the Sun. It is done exactly the same way as returning from the Moon. When we are on the face of the dress, which is facing Kerbin, 
we are going to burn retrograde to the direction of dress movement around the sun. It will in turn lower our orbital velocity around the sun and lower our periapsis until such levels where our orbit intersects orbit of Kerbin. Easy. First we are going to change the inclination of our orbit to not exactly but somehow match it to the inclination of Kerbin orbit so that we can at some point intersect it and after the change in our inclination we are just going to create a maneuver node which will drop our periapsis around the sun to where we want it to be. And now we are going to spend quite some time tweaking the maneuver node back and forth to check how it works and when we are going to get our encounter. In this mission we have to be fairly precise because we only have less than 1.5 kilometers of delta V and that's not really much. We need to save it just in case we have to do something and maybe correct our maneuver later or change something in our course. And after some tweaking and toggling back and forth, we finally got our encounter with Kerbin without spending all of our Delta V. And actually we managed to get it fairly close to the Kerbin surface, which is good. And we are not spending all of our fuel, which is also good. Now we only have to execute our node as perfect as we can so that our final course is as close to the predicted one as possible and that we don't have to do much of maneuver changes and other stuff while we are already on the way and we actually managed to do it pretty well it's not 100% perfect but it's very close and all we have to do is create a little maneuver along the way to make sure that we get closer and we don't spend way too much delta v while doing it so maneuver is ready time to time warp this maneuver is pretty simple and small it's just one point something meters per second of change so almost there and done we even overdid it a little bit and our perhaps disappeared but i think we can fix it easily when we are close to the carbon and indeed we can fix it with just one tiny five meter per second correction and we're done our spaceship is returning to the Kerbin. We are at 80,000 meters and we are entering the atmosphere. Everything seems to be fine. The re-entry effects are happening now. Thankfully, because we don't have the deadly re-enter mode in this version, we are not going to be destroyed by this fiery ball of death, doom and destruction. Which is good. At this point I thought that maybe we are going to drop on the island, but no. Our drag was too strong and we were slowed down sufficiently so that we fallen down to the ocean. Alright, our drag chute is deployed, our other chutes are deployed after it. And nothing can really happen at this point. Except the splashdown and the happy return to the Kerbin families. And look at that. We got almost 2000 signs. With all the signs, we will be able to almost unlock the whole tree. 
we are just going to have a couple nodes left and those will be probably only the only the space plane nodes or in other words the ones that I haven't really tried yet so maybe I'll give it a look in the next episode who knows maybe we'll see but for now let's end this episode thank you all for watching my name is Darlok and I will see you next time remember to like dislike and comment the video in the section below once again thank you for watching and goodbye